Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jason King of the Lions here with Squad Goals TV. And I know you guys probably want me to have a Pokemon Go video right now or something funny, but there's a serious issue that I need to address. So today's video, we're going to talk about self-inflicted wounds. All right, so in the past, let's say four or five days, um, I've run into about six or seven or eight people that have like arms full of cuts. And the first thing that I think when I see those, not like, oh, that person's messed up or they're probably like so crazy. The first thing I think is it didn't even have to come to that. Um, in Canada, we actually have a kid's helpline. I'll have that number hopefully right here. But there are numbers you can call if you do have problems, if you're feeling this way. I'm gonna tell you guys a little story. Um, a lot of people think I'm very well off. I'm very positive all the time. I'm always happy. One thing you guys won't know about me is I went through a crazy amount of depression growing up. Um, I don't really share that a lot on YouTube yet because I'm not very comfortable with it, but I feel like me sharing this can help a few people, so I'm going to share something with you. When I was, I think it was 11 or 12, long story short, um, I ended up in a group home in Newmarket. It was a bad experience, so I'm not going to get into that right now, but it had me very depressed. Every morning I woke up for about a year, I would cry in the shower. And yeah, you probably can't notice that just from day-to-day -day activities I do, but I was very, very depressed. I didn't have anyone to help me out. I didn't have anyone to talk to. I didn't have any outlet to kind of get it off my chest. Hopefully, if you're watching this video, you do. And if you are watching this video, you now do. You can contact me if you ever need to. I've been through a lot in life, so I'll be able to give you guys some really good advice. So a lot of people think depression is something that you can just overcome or, or deal with, as people say. Um, it's not that easy. Even today, like right now, I'm becoming a YouTuber. I have a very good job. I have a really good set of friends. Every single day, those thoughts that put me into my state of depression pop up. It's all about how you deal with it. So if you're having a bad time at home, you're having a bad time at work or whatever it may be, you can't let it show. That's a big thing. So the one tip I have for anyone that is going through depression is not to deal with it, but to attempt to deal with it. Uh, my outlet was actually music. For anyone that knows me before the whole YouTube thing, all I did was music. All I did was write music and go to the studio and put it out just so you guys could get to know me and see what it is that I go through. So if you have a hobby, if you have something you like to do, let that take over your life. If you have no time to think about the depressing things, as crazy as it sounds, it helps. Um, there was a time, like I said, when I woke up every day and I thought, you know what? If I killed myself today, I would be better off. The people around me would be better off. And I feel like the world as a whole would be better off. So I don't blame you guys for thinking that. The thing is, if there's happy moments in life and sad moments in life, you don't want to focus on the bad moments. You want to focus on the happy times. Because in my videos, in my snaps, in my Instagram posts, you've not seen one thing about any of this because I show you guys the happiness. Once in a while, you got to let it out just to not bottle it up, but try your best to focus on anything that makes you happy. Do the things that make you happy. Pokemon makes me happy, so I play Pokemon. So guys, there are hundreds of thousands of people that need this message. So what you need to do, what you can do to help, say you can't give any advice or any life lessons or experiences, all you need to do is share this video. These words might just be what that one person needs today.